Hello everybody, I'm GHG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to take a look at how to modify or round coaster. There are a couple modifications we are going to talk about. One is the amount of blocks traveled between the end point and the starting point of our turn and the other one is the speed of our turn and of course you can apply the same technique as we did last time uh, with our T but do mind that you will get a uh, larger circle or a smaller circle depending on what you do so uh, with last time I mean last episode where we um, yeah edited the speed uh, speeding up and speeding and slowing down of our straight tracks okay as you might have seen in the previous episode uh, on the end you can see that the turn is actually quite big it actually lands quite far away uh, from where we started the turn and I've been doing some measurement I've just taken this um, not mathematically I've just done this by hand and I've seen that if you divide uh, this by 12.55 uh, you will get one block so if we also do that below over here um, it will make a turn nice and easy and it will land one block further so we can multiply that by 8 to go 8 blocks, of course, multiply that above over here. But I'm just going to leave it like that. And that's how easy it is to modify uh, the turn. Of course, you can also um, do it times something to make it go even further. Okay, so, but how do you now modify the speed of your turn? Well, if you take a look at... Um, the method sign function, uh, we yeah we make the value of t higher each time. So make, to make it go faster, we actually need to make this go faster. So what you can do is do this times two. It will make uh, a full looping. So that we have to half our time over here. So we have to half our time over here to ten. And now it will still make I said looping. Oops, because you actually can make loopings with this technique as well. Okay, but never mind that. Uh, let's go back over here. If you make it twice as fast, you need to make it run, of course, half of the time. So over here, I'm also going to do times two. And this will probably mess up the distances over here because it's actually going twice as fast. Uh, but never mind that. So let's also modifica uh, modify this on the last stage. So I'm just going to copy the divide it by 12.55. I'm going to place it over here. And then, of course, I'm going to do the times 2. And I'm going to place it over here as well. And then, because we made our um, roller coaster 20 ticks shorter, we just need to do 61 on this. Okay. And that's actually how easy it is. Of course, you can apply the techniques as in times 2 or, uh, or plus T or whatever you like to do uh, to make it go up exponentially, not linear we did over here and yeah that's actually how easy it is this is uh, to make things go faster you need to uh, modify what's inside over here to make it uh, travel further or closer to you you need to make this smaller or bigger and also never do plus because plus yeah don't it will never return zero again just don't do it okay and uh, that's actually how easy it is so of course over here we also need to Decrease by 10 to 30 and to 50 because these stages take uh, Yeah, they take place 10 ticks earlier and that's it Once again modify the part in the middle over here to modify the speed modify uh, the whole thing to modify the length and I heard you say but you said you were going to explain loopings as well. Yes, because what we now do is we make a curve on the X and Z axes and what you actually can do is make a curve on the y-axis. Just use this kind of function on the y-axis to make it a looping. Of course, I'm not going to do this now, but it's just really easy to make a looping like that. Uh, if you have any questions about that, I can show it in a, in a future video. But since it's actually kind of the same of what we did uh, with the turns, I'm not going to spend a whole other video on doing so. Okay, that's actually the coding for this uh, tutorial video. 
Let's go and take a look at this at the server. See you over there. We're inside Minecraft now. Start up the server and let's go take a look at our roller coaster. And as you see, it goes like that in 10 ticks and then just a normal turn over here. And as you can see, it does half because we messed up the speed or we messed with the speed. We didn't mess up the speed. Uh, just do times two in total and you will be fine as well. And to those who have been watching closely, my result differs from your result. Indeed, I did it on purpose because that's the challenge of today's video is to find out what I did wrong in my code. And I'm going to give a little hint. It's something to do with T, not with any multiplication or subdivision or division with T. But yeah, something we did in the last episode and I suddenly forgot or forgot on purpose. Hope you can find out if you can not just shoot me a message on the Discord server or shoot anyone a message on the Discord server. And that's it for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you got any feedback or suggestions, down below in the comment section. Uh, down below in the comment section or in the description box, you will find a link to the Discord channel, which I just mentioned. And you can also ask your questions over there. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.